Hello students, a very warm welcome to Rihant Online Academy. And here in this video, we are going to solve an important C program for learning the basics of C. The program is write a program to compute the real roots of the equation ax square plus bx plus c. So you already know the simple quadratic equation. We can write it like ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero. And if it is a quadratic equation, it means that it's going to have two roots, right? Let's say R1 and R2. And the basic formula to calculate that root is nothing but uh, minus B plus minus under root B square minus 4AC and divide it with the 2A. You already know that this is the basic formula. This is the basic formula to calculate the root of any quadratic equation. Now there are three cases that if we talk about this value b square minus 4ac, it may be greater than zero, it may be equal to zero, or it may be less than zero. So if it is greater than zero, then we are going to have root one and root two. If the value of b square minus 4ac, if it is equal to zero, in that case, R1 and R2 is going to have roots and both are going to be equal, you know. And if the value of B square minus 4AC is less than zero, it means that if the value of B square minus 4AC is uh, negative, in that case, the roots are going to be imaginary. I hope this is the basic of the program. So if we know this much, then we can directly go to the program and the program is in front of you. So we have included two header files, studio.h and method.h. And you know the basics that uh, studio.h is going to help to explore the definitions of printf and scanf, these things, which is already a standard library function. And method.h function is going to be evaluate the mathematical calculations like SQRT, that is a square root like that thing. Okay. So basically, Compiler is going to execute the program from int main, main function onwards. And uh, here inside main program, you can see we are having several uh, variables, a comma b comma c comma r1 comma r2 comma d. So a, b, c are the variables generally we take to form the quadratic equation because our quadratic equation is of the form ax square plus bx plus c. So to make that quadratic equation, ABC is mentioned here, R1 and R2 is for roots and D, you can know here that this is the D, right? So basically uh, in the initial step, we are going to ask users that uh, whatever it's, whatever his or her quadratic equation he forms to, he want to, he or she want to form, they can generate by putting the respective value of ABC. So we are going to store the value of ABC in the address of A, B, address of B, address of C. So the quadratic equation is going to be formed. Thereafter, we are calculating B square minus 4AC. You know that under root square thing I already told you, that under root square thing is B square minus 4AC. So we are going to calculate the value of that. So whatever value of B square minus 4AC will be generated, it's going to store in the variable D, which we have already declared D. D variable is declared and whatever value of B square minus 4AC is there, that is going to assign to the D. Okay. After that, we are going to use if else loop. So in if else loop, we are calculating if the value of D is greater than zero, whatever the value of B square minus 4AC, if it is greater than zero means if it is positive inside that square root, then we can calculate roots like R1 equals to minus B plus square root D divided by 2A. SQRT is a square root function. Its definitions are stored under the method.h header file. And what it is going to do, if the value of D is 16, it's going to convert it into four. If the value of D is 25, it is going to convert it to five. Likewise, that square root function is going to work. Thereafter, R1 and R1 is going to be calculated because two roots will be generated for quadratic equation. One is minus D plus square root D divided by two and another one is minus B minus square root D divided by 2A, minus B plus minus under root B square minus 4AC divided by 2A. So plus minus one root for plus and another root is for minus. Whatever root is going to be calculated, we can simply print that roots with the help of printf functions like that. The real roots are percent F percent F R1 comma R2. We generally put a percent F is 
just because that it might be in case that it might it might be infectional that is why right now the second case is if the value of b square minus 4 ac is zero in that case both the roots r1 and r2 is going to equal because r1 is also minus b divided by 2a and uh, r2 is also minus b divided by 2a why because plus minus under root b square minus 4 ac is zero the square root of zero is zero that is why both roots is going to be equal and we can simply print this roots like that roots are equal r1 comma r2 if the value of b square minus 4 ac is zero but in the case if b square minus 4 ac is going to give us negative value in that case no need to calculate anything because roots are imaginary so in that case roots will be imaginary and this is the complete program okay so let's save it and run it so it's already saved in our pc so i'm going to my coding folder here that uh, that program is stored with the quadrt.c so let me i'm going to command prompt okay you can see here i am going to run that program q u a d r t dot c quadratic root dot c it's compiling compiling and executable file a is created enter the value of a b c so i am entering value of a as a 1 i am entering value of b as a 4 entering value of c as a let's say 3 <coughs> real roots are created here real roots what are real roots minus 3 and minus 5 you can see here we can also run it for some different value gcc q u a d r t dot c and let me run it okay a this time i am printing the value of a as a 1 uh, b as a 2 and c as a 1 1 2 1 so this time you can see roots are equal so in one case Roots were real in one case. Roots are equal minus one and minus one because minus b square uh, under root b square minus four is going to become zero. Okay, we can run it for one more input. G C C Q U A D R T dot C. This time I am printing the value of a as uh, okay. First I need to enter of value one one enter of value b two and enter value of c as a three. So roots are imaginary. so we have seen all the three cases in first roots were real second roots were equal and third roots are imaginary so it is going to give us output for each and every case so i hope the program is very much clear to all of you and further if you are any any doubt or confusion you can comment in our comment section and i will try to resolve your doubts and queries as early as possible from my side so guys do subscribe the channel stay tuned with us like the video try to be engaged with us as much as possible from your side so that the learning would be better and efficient have a very nice nice day guys jai hind jai bharat and don't forget to share it with your friends and try to hit the bell icon button so that whenever next time i am going to upload the video it's going to be signified on your pop up option instantly Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.